Hello. <clears throat> what I have here today could be potentially an alternative to the ever so popular TS100 soldering iron. So this is a T12 soldering iron. It has an input of uh, 12 to 24 volts uh, and consumes about 3 amps. Uh, this one comes with a kind of like a knife edged tip and a five and a half millimeter by 2.1 millimeter barrel connector. Uh, the gauge shows a range of uh, 200 to 420 degrees Celsius. So how it goes together is, unscrew it here, Oops. insert tip, screw that back on, and you're supposed to plug it into a 12 volt source, 12 to 24 volt source, uh, which I don't have. So I will be modifying this, replacing this barrel connector with an XT60 connector, and then I will uh, use my uh, 4S LiPos to power this thing. Okay, so I've modified it the connector to an XT60 and uh, here I got a 4S LiPo uh, that's rolling about 16.6 16 .6 volts right and then um, I'll do a comparison with this must tool MT223 the 60 watt iron runs on one 110 volts. I'll max out the setting here, which says 450. And then I'll, on this one, I'll have it set to, I guess, 420 maximum. I'll also change the tip of this one to match the type of tip or shape of tip of this one. There we go. The tip that's very similar. And then we'll see uh, which one will melt a little piece of solder first. To do this test, I will be plugging in the must tool first and then plugging that one in as quickly as I could can. So here we go. Both plugged in. Now we're waiting to see which one melts first. Oh, it looks like we have a winner. That was pretty damn quick, not gonna lie. And the 60 watt PC one is finally melting. So there you have it. We have a winner here. Pretty darn good. So as a cheap alternative to the popular TS100. Thanks for watching.